Hello, YouTube. Uh, this video is going to be about this flat out quick strike tire sealant. This stuff really seems to be the uh, new age stuff to go to. Um, it's easy to use, supposedly lasts 10 years. And I bought some videos on it, and uh, heck, a guy took a drill with a quarter inch and a three eighths of drill bit, drilled a hole in his tire with a tube, and it sealed it. And that's kind of extreme, but uh, apparently this stuff works, and it's going to work for a, a thorn or a, a nail screw. It's going to work real good. Uh, so anyway, it's pretty easy to use. Uh, just put your tire up with the valve stem near the top. I've already done it in my back tire. I haven't done it to my front tire yet. But uh, I'm getting ready to. And uh, do yourself a favor and buy you one of these, uh, buy you one of these uh, valve removal tools. I bought this one with this four-way. Uh, it comes with uh, four valve stems. It was a couple bucks. Two, three, four bucks. But uh, it's a good idea to have your little patch kit. And some tire levers. Patches, different sizes. Tire levers. Plastic is preferable. I've got some metal ones in there, but uh, um, you need something good to take the valve stem out. There. They have one in this little top cap here when you pull this cap off, but it's plastic and they're useless. They they won't work. Not on a tight valve stem. Anyway, put your valve stem up near the top. And uh, pull the valve core, deflate the tire, pop this little black disc thing off, hook your rubber uh, tube to your valve stem, and squeeze your flat out in there. Now, I used on this 20 by 5, I don't know if you can see it, but right here is 16 ounces which is half it's 32 this is half right there it is I used about 12 ounces no 14 ounces I used about 14 that's what Carl recommended he used and work it's been working good for him so I'm going to use uh, about 14 ounces for these fat tires then probably for a skinny tire bike, those four ounces left over will easily do one of these. Now for this, this sick pad with this uh, 26, 26 by four, I'd probably use 16. I'd use one bottle, 16 for the front, or for the rear, 16 for the front. And maybe on this electric with the 20 by 4, I'd use 12 and 12. Whatever. You know, use your best judgment on uh, by what they recommend. It's super easy to use. Put that thing on there and squeeze it in. Now, one tip when you're filling these fat tires up, if you has, haven't dealt with them before, they're a little bit tricky. To make sure they get seated evenly around the rim. So when you're filling it up, preferably with a compressor so you can do it fast. But pay attention, both sides. Look at it. Make sure that the tire is uh, seating properly around the rim evenly. Because because they'll see, but they'll be out of whack, and there'll be a bump, and you go down the street, and you feel the bump, bumpity, bumpity, bump. So pay attention to that, and if they're not seated right, it's no big deal. 
Spin your tire around to the bottom. Let some air out or pull that valve stem out again. And start over. Pay attention. Make sure you get it seated. And that's about it. Um, I've been lucky. I think I've had one flat tire in the past five years. But I, I don't ride trails. I don't ride off the road. But it doesn't matter. There's road hazards out there. There's nails, staples, thorns, uh, what have you. There's road hazards. So you can get a flat tire at any time. And these electric bike tires are a little trickier to, a lot more work than a regular standard bicycle tire to pop off. Okay, so that's about it. But I highly recommend this, this flat out quick start. This stuff, it, uh, it stays a liquid. It's more of a liquid type. It doesn't, uh, it's not a gummy sealant like slime or the original flat out. Now the original flat out worked pretty good too. This stuff is, this stuff is, uh, hey, it's built with Kevlar. How can you go wrong? And uh, anyway, this is the ticket. I got this at Home Depot for $20.57. Uh, they sell it at Tractor Supply for about $17.99. Uh, wherever you get it, but th this is the stuff. All right, that's about it. I will talk to you later.